Let believe. You understand it and get your own insight. The question yes. the Lord is asking you and I tonight. He said, Do you have a need? That is the message tonight. Do you have a need? Do you have something tonight you are asking the Lord, do for me tonight? Father, if you will do this, Father, I am here tonight to get something from you. Before you connected this tonight, were you having anything in your mind? Say, Lord, if I connect tonight, this is what I am in need of. This is what I want you to do for me tonight. Lord Jesus, I'm coming to you, not to any man. I'm coming to drop this thing in your presence and take so, so, so thing away. If you are not such tonight, you might be wasting your time here. The Lord is waiting and looking for people who have need. People who are expectant. People who are to get from you, from him, and give him something. People who are ready to drop something tonight and take something home. Those Amen. are the people the Lord have been waiting for since money. The Bible told us in the book of Luke chapter 9, verse 11. Luke chapter 9, verse 11. And the people, when they knew it, followed him. And he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God and healed them that had need of healing. Amen. And healed them that had need of healing. Amen. Do you have need of healing tonight? Do you have need of restoration tonight? Do you have need of deliverance tonight? He only healed them that had need of healing. Tonight, whatever you have a need of, the Lord is ready to do it for you tonight. If only, if only you have a need of that thing, brother, I've come to announce to you, the Lord is not ready to force blessing into your hands. The Lord is not ready to force blessing into your hands. The Lord will only give to those who have the need of that thing. The Lord is ready to bless only those who have the need of blessing. Our Father is not a waster. He does not waste blessing. No matter how sick you are, if you don't have need of, that, of healing, he will not heal you. No matter how penurious you are, if you don't have need of that blessing, he will not bless you. So, as you are connected tonight, if before now, you don't have any need, you better ask yourself now, what am I doing here? Because I believe people who are here are people who are expectant. People who are expected to get from the Lord. Amen. People are saying, Father, do this for me. Jesus, I need this from you. People who have need of something, those are the people the Lord is waiting for tonight. Because it said to us in the book of Proverbs 23, verse 18, For surely there is an end, and Amen. an expectation, then expectation shall not be cut off. Amen. Are you expecting tonight? If you are expecting nothing, you get on, you will get nothing. If you came here tonight expecting nothing, you are going back home with nothing tonight. So therefore, it's better you pack your load now, go back home and sleep, than you are here. Without expectation. He says, surely the end of that problem is now. The Amen. end of that difficulty is now. But Amen. only, 
only if you are expecting to end. The Lord will not force your problem to end for you. The Lord will not force that thing to happen to you. It's for those who are expecting. So tonight, what is that thing you are expecting from the Lord? He will do it for you. He's ready to do it. But he has done it before. He will do it again. The Bible told us in Psalm chapter 62, verse 5. Say, my soul, wait thou only upon God. For my expectation is from him. My soul, wait only upon God. So therefore, if you are here tonight waiting upon Apostle Emmanuel, you go the same way you came. Okay. If you come tonight hoping to wait for Apostle Peace or Apostle Biren, you will go the same way you came. You know why? Because I am also expecting something. Because I am also an expectant. Somebody who you are carrying at your back cannot carry somebody else. So therefore, don't even expect me to give you anything tonight because I have nothing to offer. Only him can do it. Amen. David understood this and he never failed one day. If you are here without expectation, you go back home the same way you came. If you don't have need, you go back home the same way you came. The same way you came. And if you are expecting something and not from God alone, remember the Bible told us in Jeremiah 17 from verse 5, the cause be unto the man who hope in a man. So therefore, why am I saying this? If you are expecting a possible man right, to do something tonight, you are not expecting God to do something. The cause be unto you. It's not like saying it. If you are trusting in me that I can do it for you, he said, I should tell you, you are under a curse. So for that curse to be broken tonight, I want you to reframe yourself now. Say, Father, I'm trusting in you only. I'm not, I, I'm not attached to apostle money to you. It's only you I put my trust on. My expectation comes from you alone. My deliverance comes from you alone. Even if it's a man you are going to pass through, it's not that man that will do it. If God does not do it, let that man shout from now to tomorrow, nothing will happen. If God does not manifest, no man can manifest. Man will only manipulate you if God is not manifesting. So therefore, put your trust in God alone. Be expectant. Be expectant, number one. Have something in mind that say, Father, do this for me. Have a need. Expect the need. Put your trust in Him. And believe only Him can do it. So that you that come here with blessing will not go up with, with cause. He that trusts in a man and put his hope on a man and take God away from the picture, you are taking away your soul from the picture. So fear God now and put your trust in him alone. Remember, he is a jealous God. He will not take it from any man. You have never done it before. He will not start taking it from me. Those who put trust in, in men before, they are singing the song in hell now because they were on that cross. There's no cross person in heaven. Amen? Amen? Amen. There is no cross person in heaven. So therefore, don't incur cause to yourself by putting your trust in any man tonight. Rest your trust in God and believe in him alone. The Bible told us in Romans 15, verse 13. Romans 15, 13. Say, now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Amen. In believing. Believe he can do it for you. Believe he, he that is able to create the heaven and the earth. He that formed you is able to heal you. Amen. He that brought you forth into this world is able to take care of you. So now, Amen. the God of hope fills you with all joy and peace Amen. in believing that you may be above the hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost is in the house tonight. 
Remember the song we sang just now. Let it rain. And the Lord is ready to open the floodgate tonight. And Amen. it shall rain abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says in Acts 16, verse 13. Verse 13, one another. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on him alone. And thou shalt be saved. You Amen. and everyone you are represented tonight. I believe I am a representative of family. I am a representative of, of, of people. So do you. So you and they that you are representing all shall be delivered if you believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Remember yeah. where we are coming from today. Having need. Expecting the need. Trusting in the Lord alone. And believing that he can do it for you. And all shall be well for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. See so now, what do you do again? Have faith in him. Have a radical faith in him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, even above what you ask, for, ask of him. In Hebrews 11 verse 1, say now faith is the substance of things. Hope for. That thing you are hoping for. That thing you are hoping for, have faith that you have gotten it tonight. Have faith Amen. that you are not going back home the way you came. Say so the evidence of things not seen yet. You have not seen the healing manifesting, but you have the hope that it will manifest. Amen. You have not seen the food in your hands. You have, you have hope that after tonight, you will never lack again. The Amen. document is Amen. not yet in your hands. But you have hope. That after tonight, by, from Monday, they'll call you and say, yes, it is done. Every Amen. day of things hope for. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible told us in the book of Luke chapter number 8, from verse 43, there was a woman who left home the way all that people left home. And this man said, I am not going for Peter and James. I am not going for any other man tonight. I am not going for any other person. I am going to meet Jesus Christ. And not just only meet him. If I can touch him alone. Just as people were saying, okay, if he can touch me. If he can touch me, I will be healed. Faith varies. So I say, if he can touch me, I will be healed. But this one say, if I can touch the hem of his garment, because you know that Christ might be so busy. People might be much there. So let me do the touching. Tonight, if you can do the touching, if you can say, Father, I'm touching you tonight, you will get it. In the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus must say, hey, I want to touch him. I want to touch this man. Just a touch of his garment. My life will never remain the same again. I want to build your faith tonight. Hey, if God can use the man to say, it is well. It is well. Amen. If God can use the man to say, ah, I am blessed. I am blessed. Even if he did not say, I know I am blessed. Connecting alone. I am touching him. For me Amen. to have connect tonight, I am touching him already. So I am not going back home the way I came. The Bible says in Luke chapter 8, chapter 8 verse 43, say, uh, a woman having an issue of blood, 12 years, which has spent all her living upon physicians, doctors. I don't know how far you've gone with that sickness. I don't know what they are sexing you. When the song was going on, the song that said something to the song. I don't know where you have gone to. You have spent your money everywhere. Tonight, they say, when she sang it, say, yes, she's in spirit. So this woman has spent all her money 
our livelihood have been spent on that sickness. Neither could be healed by any of them. Maybe your medical paper is so piled up in your house and all are negatives. You have gone to all the doctors from your country down to where you are right now. The same thing is persisting, telling you it cannot be done. Your own is not as worst as this woman. The Bible says this woman was running blood. You, you know, for a woman to bring her blood for three days is killing. For good 12 years, Pampas could not stop it. She have used all her clothes to pack it. No way. It flows every time. She was living in shame. She was living in pain. And the Bible says she spent all her money in this sickness and all to no avail. But one day, she heard of a man called Jesus Christ. Amen. Not Apostle Peter, not Apostle Paul. She only heard of what the man had done, I guess so. I said, hey, if I can meet that man, she was expecting, she was calculating how to see him on that day. And one day, she heard Christ will be having a crusade somewhere. The man is coming to somewhere. I said, hey, I must be there. Not just be there, I am expected to get from him. I have a need that I want this man to do for me. And if I get there, you eat your blood, you are finished today. Sure. Even before she left home, she have caused this sickness already. Sickness, you are gone. Today Amen. is your end. You are, I bought ticket. You are, I bought ticket for you to follow me there. But you don't have return ticket, mate. You Amen. sickness, I'm telling you, you have no return ticket with me. You, can, you, are, you will succeed going with me. But I am dropping you there. And the Amen. Bible says in verse 44, came behind him and tore the border of his garment. And immediately, the power of expectation, the power of expectation, the power of having need, the power, he came behind. Hey, Jesus, I am here. Hey, see me. No, she did not do busybody. She did not advertise the sickness. She did not, she, she, she's not going to start advertising. Hey, Peter, hey, hey Paul, hey, I'll be there for... No. She knew what she needed. And she was calculative. The Bible says she went behind him because she has said in her mind already, if I can but touch him anywhere, I will be here. Tonight, yeah. I don't know what is in your mind. I don't know what you are, what you have said before you came here. If I can, if I will, if only I can connect tonight. I know I'm not connected to any man. I'm connected to Jesus Christ. Hey, if I can hook up tonight, my blessing will hook up to me. Yeah. If I can connect tonight. I'm connected to my blessing. I'm connected to my healing. What matters is what you say concerning that issue. And the Lord is ready to do what you are asking to do for you. And the Bible says, and immediately her issue of blood stench, stench, rather. Praise Mother Jesus. Dried up. Dried up. The power of expectation. The power of I can. I will do it. Tonight is the end of it. What is that Amen. in your life? You are saying tonight is the end. Hmm. Before we started, before we said uh, tonight, I, I was resting. All of a sudden, I heard a voice. It said, I have two types of church. I have two types of church. I was struggling. To, to, I was calculating if I should get up now or I should still relax. See, I have two types of church. 
church who pray before program and church who don't pray before program. See? What is this? See? These are the two church I have. And who is church? I am a church. See? I have two type of church. Me, I have two type of people. See, I have a church who pray before they end back of program. A church who, did, who does not pray. Say, hey, Father, I understand you. My body, even though you are weak, I am getting up and a church that prayed before program. I stood up. Say, hey, I belong to the church who pray before program. Meaning, hey, um, I have two type of people. People who don't expect and people who expect. If you expect so you pray over it and say, Father, as I'm going there, Lord, I'm not going back the same way I came. Father, as I'm connecting now, let my life never remain the same again. Father, I want to touch you tonight. This woman prayed. This woman meditated. If I get him tonight, I will touch him. And when I touch him, I will be healed. What was your prayer before you came here? I'm not just adding to prayer. I don't to the preaching. I, it's what I heard. I'm telling you. I heard it. Two type of church. Two type of people. Church that pray before any program. Before any event. A church who does come in there. And I say, I decide to be a church who pray before program. A yeah. person who pray. Because it's what you pray before that time that will manifest when you get there. You pray in advance. You pray your way into the program. You pray your way into the crusade. Whatever, in any, whatever program that is going on, you pray your way into it. And you get what you're looking for. Your prayer, is your, your prayer is your expectation. I don't know how many of us are here on, on this matter. And you are not be doing that, doing it. And some days ago, I heard the women that prayed, they were saying, ah, We'll be, we'll be praying now. Before any program, we'll be praying. When I heard the voice, I said, hey, this is what I heard some women saying the other time. But I don't know if they are doing it. They said it, but I don't know. Pray God, for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 45. And Jesus said, who touched me? He know you. Hey, <laughs> hey, apostle. He knows you. He knows who touched him. He knows who I, when you were sent in your house, he knows you, you were coming, brother. He knows when you were, when you enter vehicle after coming, he knows. As well, then your number, you were connected with him already. He knew that woman was coming. He knew you before you were born. Who touched me? Because he must take his glory. The Lord will take his glory in your life tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is that person that touched me? Though I know you, woman, but you must speak out today because it has been done. We connected to each other. It's done now. I want to glorify me. My glory will, not, will I not share with daughters? My glory will, not, will I not share with medicine? Amen. If you go back home that way and you go to any hospital to, to test yourself, if you have not said it here, they will say they are God that healed you. So you must you must say today. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, he moved you through thee, struck thee, and praised thee, and said that who touched me? They don't understand. Tonight, the Lord will do something in your life. Even, even your husband, your wife will not, will not understand it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Only you and Christ will know what you said before you came. Only you and him know what is in your mind. Apostle man then don't know. I can only see but what you have told me. No matter how my eyes open, if I cannot be like God. It's not possible. Whatever he will not reveal, he will not reveal it. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And Jesus, Jesus said, somebody has touched me. Somebody has prayed. Somebody had need. Somebody is expecting. Somebody is praying right now. Somebody yes. says, it is my turn. 
Somebody is touching me right now. Hey, my son, Apostle Emmanuel. Somebody, somebody is touching me. Somebody Amen. is crying for deliverance. And I'm giving it to her. I'm doing Amen. it tonight. Somebody is touching me in UK. Somebody is touching Amen. me in Ireland. In Canada, Amen. all over. Someone Amen. is touching me. Ah. Amen. And who is that person that's touching him now? Who must that be tonight? The Lord needs another person again to touch him. Somebody touched him before. Something happened. The Lord is eager to see uh, to hear another touch tonight. The Lord is waiting to see somebody Amen. tonight touch him again. The man, the woman touched the guy about the heart of Christ was touched. Mm. Amen. The woman touched, he touched the clothes, but he was touched the throne of God. Everything about Christ is power. If you touch his name, it's power. Everything about Amen. him is power. As long Amen. as you are connected with that phone, you are connected to power. Amen. And the Bible says, and Jesus said, somebody touch me, for I perceive that virtue is God out of me. Can, you, can you also draw something from you tonight? The Lord is loaded. Christ Amen. is loaded. He was telling me not quite long. Say, my love is too much. Even if the whole world take it, you can't take half of it. You cannot take an inch of it. Say, my son, oh, my people don't know me. Say, my love is, is, is abundant. Say, everyone living on earth today, make it times billions. Let all, all of them come to my love. They cannot take an inch from it. I am loaded with love. So tell my children, I am loaded with love. Amen. I am love. Amen. You love you so much. And it's ready to do whatever you ask us tonight. I'm closing it because time. For seven. Hey. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people, you will give a testimony that everyone will hear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord shall do undeniable miracle in your life and in my life. Amen. Miracle that even if you try to close your mouth, you can't close it. Amen. Even if you try to hide it, you can't because it will be too much for you to hide. The Amen. This one came out. Because it was too much. She declared all to him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and showed uh, how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Doctor, tonight the Lord will call your name again, Doctor. Son, my child, my daughter, my son, they be of good cheer. Of comfort. Be of good, I come again, verse 48. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith, not me now, thy faith, thy expectation, which I told you in Proverbs 18, verse 18, that can never be cut off, is done tonight. The Lord, the word of God is his word. It will never go void. Amen. But surely it's an end. Amen. And the expectation will never be cut off. Amen. Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go Amen. in peace. Amen. She came in pieces. She came dejected. She came frustrated. She came denied. The husband have rejected her. I can't be streaming in blood every day. Woman, say no. I'm tired of you. The parents, everyone have rejected her. And somebody, somebody, only one man. And I believe daughters were tired of her. When they're coming, she's coming again. You know. And you daughter, oh God, I've been doing it for the past two years. I don't have, I don't have, I go. But only one man. His name is Jesus Christ. Amen. Whenever, no matter the problem, 
No matter the difficulties, no matter the rejection, rejection, ups and down, just come to him. You will never, ever go the same with him. The Lord Amen. wants to tell somebody tonight, go in peace, daughter. Go in peace, son. Your faith has made you well. Amen. Brethren, a word is enough for the wife. Before now, if you don't have an expectation, better start having it now. If you are trusting on Apostle Abraham or Apostle Peace, you better take them off now. You know why? Because they themselves, they have something they are asking God to do for me. Remember, David gave out the departed tense. I run to the king of Adonai. I am also running. Apostles, on the man, on the man, they are running. You are also running. We all are running a race. So therefore, Amen. don't put, don't, uh, don't expect me that they are backing at the back to also back you. It's not possible. I can't back anyone. Only one man can back everyone Amen. else. His name is Jesus Christ. If you can trust Amen. him, Amen. if you can trust him, even Apostle Man with Marvel. I can see that day the apostles, the Peter, all the marvel. Hey, what kind of faith is this? James, yeah, I've never seen this one before. Hey, Peter, hmm, this one, this woman is extraordinary. The Lord will do something like that will, that will even marvel me in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless word in our heart tonight. And I believe a daughter of God will sing again tonight. The Lord will reign and bless upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Are you there? You're not born again. That is where it starts from. You must accept him. Before the woman came, she accepted him already that he can do it. As he as her Lord and personal Savior. Tonight, remember John 3, 3 says, Except a man is born again, you cannot see Christ. You cannot see his kingdom. So are you out there? You're not born again. And you are expecting tonight. You are expecting to be cut off. Because he that you are expecting from, you have rejected him. You can't get from him. Say after me, if you want to give your life to him. His name again is Jesus Christ, the almighty God. Amen. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word tonight. I've seen what you can do. And I realize it can only be done when I have accepted you. Lord Jesus Christ, I have been living in a far country of sin. But today, tonight, I have decided to come back home to you, Lord. You are my home. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me all my sin. Wash me clean with your blood. Take my name away from the book of death and write it in the book of life. I accept you tonight as my Lord and personal Savior. And I'm born again tonight. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for bringing your word my way. Thank you, Father. For saving my soul. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. And if you have declared this, this declaration, I rejoice with you. I pray the Lord will strengthen you, empower you, grant you to be great to always believe Him, to always trust Him. And on the last day, you will forever and eternally be grateful to Him for what He has done for you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. Amen.